welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra if you're new here and I am back today with another video. So today I am trying the Fenty Beauty Body Sauce. So I'm excited to check it out. This is it right here. I have never really thought about wearing body makeup, body foundation, or any of that. Um, but I have been hearing about it and I'm like, okay, to even out your skin tone, give yourself a little glow, you know, for the summer and springtime. Sounds like really cool. Or like if you're going out and you're wearing a nice dress and you just want to conceal maybe a few like uneven spots or like some scarring or something like that, then like why not have a body foundation? So I'm going to be trying this out for you today. I've looked up a lot of things on it, how to apply it, so you need to apply it on dry skin. Um, also, the shade that I'm using is Agave Spice, which kind of aligns with my Pro Filter shade, which is around like 340, so they suggest using Agave Spice if that's your foundation shade. So, I picked this up yesterday, and I'm really excited to check it out. Um, I'm going to try it on my body, see like if it evens out my chest. As you can see, it's a little lighter than um my shoulders trying on my stomach a little bit and then we're gonna try it on my legs because my legs are definitely uneven i'm also gonna see if it transfers because it says it doesn't and also says it's sweat proof so right after this i am going to put on a white shirt for the day and go run some errands where I'm bound to get a little sweaty and then I'll come back and report the result. It's actually a pretty good size tube. This retails for $48 where their foundations are $36. So at first I was like, whoa, <laughs> why is it like a $12 difference? But it's definitely bigger than the foundation, which makes sense because you would need more on your body. We'll see if it gives a little glow. They also suggest using their body foundation brush. It retails for $18, I believe, um, but I didn't pick that up. I just have this Ultimate Blending Brush from e.l.f., um, which is kind of dense, so I feel like it'll work pretty good. Um, but yeah, it says dry skin and then let it sit for two minutes. So I'm just going to pump some out. Oh, I would say it's a good match, I think, just from looking at it. Maybe I shouldn't pump so much so quickly. I'm just going to put it on. Hmm. My main thing is I don't want to feel like I have body foundation on. Like, I want it to be pretty weightless because who wants to, like, it's enough to have a ton of foundation on your face and then you want it all over your body, you know? You don't want to feel sticky. Okay, oh, sorry, my mirror is right here, that's why I keep looking over here, but, and so is my monitor, but it does, uh, oh, it smells kind of, mm, what does it smell? It doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell like a particular scent. I don't know, mm, that's good though, you don't want it to have a harsh smell when you're putting it all over your body. Um, but I feel like this looks, it looks good, don't you think? I don't know. I feel like it's pretty, because my chest, this part is like a little speckly, a little lighter than my arms, and I feel like it blends right into my skin tone pretty good. Um, and it's definitely evening in it out with my collarbone and my shoulders that I just put the foundation on and it has a dewiness to it and a slight shimmer I don't know let me see if I can get closer so you can see like it's definitely like some reflex in there like do you see that the sun's hitting right there I hope y'all can see it but like it it's some reflex you know it's giving gold reflex I don't know <laughs> when I throw on a sleeky spring dress this might be what i need to do to make my skin pop you know let's do this arm let's make it even and i do feel like a little goes a long way let's really put it here because the inside of my arm is much lighter than the outside i feel like that's natural to be that way <laughs> um so let's see how even it makes it I definitely think a brush is probably the best way to apply this, just like you would some foundation um, on your face because 
I don't know. I feel like smearing it like lotion probably wouldn't do the trick with your hands. Um, so, and then your hands would definitely be a mess. I don't know. I kind of like the smell. It's interesting. I don't know. But I feel like that definitely, I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's evening and it melts right into my skin. It doesn't, it feels lighter than lotion. I will say that it's not thick and cakey at all. Um, yeah, feels lighter than lotion. And it, it gives you just a nice even, you see from the inside to the outside, that looks pretty good. No, I might put a little more inside. Let's see my stomach, because my stomach is, I would say darker than my arms, but I just want to see if it blends seamlessly into the stomach. Um, okay. I feel like it does. It doesn't look like there's a light cast over it. Um, let's see. And it gives it a nice little glow. I love the glow. That's what I like, the glow. Okay. The real test, I feel like, is my legs, which we don't even have to talk about the ash that's on my legs. We don't even have to talk about it. But I want to see, like, what it looks like over the knees because, obviously, like, being black, most black people, your knees are darker than... The rest of everything else which is totally fine and natural but i wonder what it will look like over the knees like if it'll look fake so let's see i'm just curious on if it's gonna look like really like oh she covered up the color of her knees also disregard the fact that i haven't shaved my legs you know that that's okay it's fine who's seeing my legs just youtube um Let's see what it looks like over the knees. I feel like it's gonna look like a cast or like foundation <laughs> over the knees. Like, what is it gonna look like? Let's see. And I really hope this doesn't get all over my clothes today. It says if you let it sit for like two minutes um, after application, then it is transfer proof. So I'm wearing jeans today and a white shirt. So we're gonna see how transfer proof this really is. Okay, I actually, I think, okay, it's a little like casty right there, you know, but it actually doesn't look too bad. Like when I bend my knee, which is natural, I guess, for it to be like here's my other ashy knee like when you bend it it is lighter when i bend it i feel like it looks more natural the foundation does but even when it's stretched out it doesn't look that bad like it doesn't look like something like i put foundation over it i don't know let me know in the comments below what do you think it looks like on the knees i don't know here's my legs side by side this one has the foundation on. This one is just ashy and has nothing on. <laughs> but obviously not enough lotion. What do we think? I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna do the other one. Ash and all, and we will see if it transfers. So far, I feel like it looks really good. I do think it evens out the skin tone pretty well. It also gives you just this sun-kissed glow. I really like it. It has the gold reflex in it. If you get really close, you can see. And it looks it looks good. Um, my main thing is, if I'm gonna be wearing body foundation, I don't want it to get all over my clothes. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna change and put on a white outfit and then I'm gonna go on about my day and I'll come back and let y'all know how it feels, how it looks, if it transfers. But also one thing I wanna point out, I don't feel like I have foundation all over my body. It's not even like as thick as like lotion or anything. Like lotion feels heavier to wear every day than this does. So I don't know, I'm impressed so far, but I'll really be impressed if it doesn't transfer. So 
If you want to see how it turns out at the end of the day, just keep watching. Hey y'all, so I am back. I have had the body sauce on for probably like four or five hours and I don't feel sticky or anything. I did like run some errands too. So I did like, I was in the sun, a little sweaty. I don't feel sticky. I don't feel like I've had you know, like body foundation or body makeup on. Um, but I did wear a white shirt today, so I'm gonna see if it has any transfer. And y'all saw me put it all over my shoulders, all over my arms, I put it on my stomach, put it on my legs. So we're gonna see if it came off on my clothes. So I feel, I don't know, it has, still has that shine, like you probably can't see, but like up close, it's like these little gold, like speckles and flecks and it's like, really pretty um but yeah y'all saw me put it on my whole body so let's see i'm gonna flip the shirt up and see if there's any residue um honestly it's not that bad i'm trying to get in an angle with the light where you can see there's definitely some residue there definitely is um, let me zoom in so y'all can see. I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's like a light grazing of like foundation on the inside of this shirt. It's not as bad as I thought it could get, but it is still there. It's just a hint of it. It's not too bad, but they said it was transfer proof and it's definitely a little on my shirt, but also I'm wearing a pure white shirt. Um... So it's just like a little tan under there. I'm gonna look at under here where I put in my stomach. Okay, y'all can see this, can y'all? There's definitely a little bit of transfer. Oh, that's kind of disappointing. Um, yeah, there's a there's a little transfer. It's not horrible, but it's definitely on a white shirt, which will make it look uh a little dingy. But I will say I have my shirt tucked in, um, so it's closer to my skin. So if you had like something a little more baggy, you might not get a lot of um, transfer. But since it was like tucked in to my clothes, it's literally rubbing. Like it's trying to rub off makeup, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, there's, there's definitely a little transfer here, you can see. Um, but it's not horrible. I'm wearing a white shirt. I had high hopes that it would like definitely not transfer because I just, I'm a Fenty stan, um, but it did transfer. But I feel like I'm still gonna use this, probably just not in a white shirt, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like I'm still gonna wear it because I feel like if you're wearing a cute little dress and you just wanna even out your skin tone a little bit, um, this is the perfect way. Will I wear it when I'm wearing like a t-shirt? Obviously not because like what's the point of even having body foundation on if you're going to wear a t-shirt to cover it up but it was just to test like if you know it's actually transfer proof but it is it leaves like a beautiful beautiful glow and it is really lightweight I don't feel like I'm wearing foundation like I feel like I'm wearing foundation on my face so I definitely think it is um a nice like consistency a nice um formula but yeah it does transfer but like if you were in a strappy dress like you would just wouldn't put the foundation like right where the strap is or whatever um and if a little gets on a strap that's different than your whole shirt i just wanted to see if it was really a transfer proof i still really really like it i think that you should check it out if you are in the market to even your skin tone where you're showing a little bit more skin um but yeah this body sauce i think is a really cool concept i know body makeup is a thing been around forever but um i think it's like really Really nice if you want to even out your skin tone a little bit um, on special occasions or in the summer when you want to have your hot girl summer so yeah um, if you want to see more reviews more Fenty reviews give this video a thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you in the next video